Sneaky Lives here, first of a new series of old hardware, new distros, new operating systems, shall we say. And as you know, I'm using a Pentium 4, 3 gig here, so it's single core with hyper threading, no? The whole system must be around about 8 to 9 years old, maybe 10, could be 10, could be one of the early ones, who knows? Yeah, who knows, I've not looked properly. 1 gig of RAM, and it works, okay, okay, it's got an NVIDIA graphics card, a really old one, so 256 meg, but it works, it's fine. But will new distros run okay? So first we've got up here is Zorin OS 6 Core. Now as you know, it's based on Ubuntu 12.04 long-term support, okay? So in theory, we should be supported for quite a long while, and it should run fine, which is what we want to find out. Now I'm recording at the same time as you can see here, so it's lovely, so that's a standard desktop. I should just change the desktop background just to show you that we can do that. And the lag ain't too bad considering really how old it is. Let's go to a nice picture. We'll go to. Ooh, should we go to. That'll do. The birdie. There you go. Nice little birdie. And that's fine, isn't it? Everything changed so far. Everything works so far. I've got Firefox here for a web browser. I've installed it myself. So what we do. Oh, here it comes. Blimey. I'd open just a minute ago, by the way. Just thought I'd tell you that. And I seem to have two windows open. Should we do it again? So I'll hover it over there. Let's close that there. And he's gone. Okay. Anyway, as you can see. All comes up okay. If I go to YouTube, for instance, we'll see if fresh plays. I think I installed it, I can't actually remember. We'll have a look, shall we? We'll go to YouTube. I'll have to go to one of my videos to make sure it all works. Out of the box. I'm only recording at 18 frames a second here, okay? Just for. Oh, just because, really. Yeah, just because. Yeah. Go to me, and we'll just click on one of my videos. There we go. Not breaking any laws. 54321 in theory. It should come out nice. And there it is. Super of the duper. I'm liking it very much. Thank you, Vu. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, that adds as well. Runs not too bad while recording. So, you know, that was the main thing I was worried about. But yeah, that's fine. So we'll get rid of that. The browser works. Okay. What else can you do with it? Well, anything you really want to. I will say it is a little bit heavy on resources. So what we'll do, we'll get down to system tools and show you. Okay. And we'll go down to the system monitor. And you'll see exactly what I mean. We're just idling here and recording at the same time. We're nearly at halfway. It's, leave you all there. It's used some swap already, and we're at 400 megs of RAM. Okay, 400 megs. Mmm. So if we've done anything intensive, it'd be a bit different, wouldn't it? Go to the system just to show you what system I'm using. There we are. There's our CPU and here's our memory. On this particular machine, I've got this divided up into six different partitions. So we've got six different distros on there, just to show you how each one works. Now this is one of the heaviest ones. Okay. And it runs actually rather nice. I can't really moan about it. Bearing in mind with the Zorin OS Core, you get most things here. You get the look changer as well. The Ubuntu Software Center is here as well, so I'll open that up for you. That's a bit of a resource hog dead one, I will tell you that for a start. So I'll wait for it to open up. Wait for it to open up. Wait for it. Here we go. And we're almost open. Now, Synaptic is here, but it is hidden, okay? You can get it through the uh, command line if you really want to. But if you want to do anything with it, you have to become root, okay? You have to become rude. They're going to be struggling now, you see. And this is why I want to do this series, just to see how all these things run, okay? To make sure they run nice and whatever else. Yeah, okay. So that's all right. That works. I'll show you what I mean about uh, running synaptic. If I go to accessories, <clears throat> open up the terminal. Hello, Mr. Terminal. He's open up. If I put sudo su, I want my password, okay? Put that in, and then you can just pipe in. There you go. And that should open up Synaptic for us as so. So it is there, it's just a little bit hidden. Okay. As you can see, there's lots in there that it gets stuff from. Remember, Google Chrome is their favourite that they're using, so that's okay. I can now get rid of that. He's gone. Do you want to close the terminal? Of course I do. See, it runs reasonable, really. I'm quite impressed, really. And considering we're going to get at least three years support from it, it's okay. Now also, if we go to accessories again, you'll see I've installed VirtualBox. You're saying, well, can I use virtual machines? Well, I wouldn't want to run a, a large distro in it really personally. Not for me personally. Smaller ones like I've got here, which is the new Tiny Core, Tiny Core 4.7, will run fine. And I'll show you what I mean. 
This is just the basic 10 uh, megabyte one, okay? This is not the big baby. No, it is not. I'm going to boot it, and you'll see exactly what I mean. Now, if I go down to there again, I'm going to go to System Tools again, and now open System Monitor, and you'll see what difference it does make, okay? There we go. Oh, and we're using all of our CPU, and more of our stuff here, the memory as well, okay? But, okay, if you're not recording, it's not going to use it all the time, but this wouldn't stop you from doing screencasts or anything. It just means your CPU will get a little bit hotter. Yeah, hot, hot, hot. The label says not. Just about to boot up for us. Five, four, three, two, one. And there we have Tiny Core running in the box. Oh, yes, indeed. So I just go like that. Do a mouse into a control panel in Tiny Core. It's nice, lovely. It works. So, Zorin OS, would I recommend it? Well, yes, I would. I would recommend it thoroughly if you want it something a little bit different. You've got the look change and everything here with it as well. So that's super duper nice, which is okey cokey. You can do most things with it and it's supported. But how will it stack up against the rest that we're going to have a look at later this week? Okay. Lovely jubby. Sneaky. Linux out. I said it is. Bye bye.